you need more motivation for this game, you know, you're in the wrong place. It's a tough rivalry. They always come to play. It's always a neck-to-neck -neck game. It's a heated rivalry, you know. They're, they don't like us and we don't like them. As much as football teams try to convince us that every game is important and they're going to take things one game at a time, that's not going to work this week. This is the Apple Cup. It's tradition. It's uh, it's something that's been going on for so long. It's it's not just us playing out there. It's 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 more it's it's, it's us representing previous players that's played in the game. It's it's you know it's, it's a lot bigger than than just us. It's a huge rivalry, especially you know for guys that are from here and. Uh, you know, we gotta approach it like like any other game as far as preparation. We can't let we can't let the the title of a of a big game really get to us and you know let us affect us in our preparation. But we know it's a big game. This game goes far beyond the football field. It goes into the stands. It goes across the state, and it goes into homes. I'm not friends with anybody on the team. I had buddies go to school there for my high school, and and uh you know all my dad's brothers went there, and so within the family. It's a big rivalry. This rivalry is a very unique one in that, that so many households are split. Um, friendships get, get kind of put on hold for about three and a half hours. And, but that's what college football is all about. The Apple Cup has given us so many great games through the 100 plus years and you need to look no further than last year to see how great this game can be. The Cougs winning that game in overtime even after trailing by 18 in the fourth quarter. Taking that knee, you know, before the before Fernie kicked that field goal, and you can't really look, but you want to look, you know, uh, kind of thing. You know, that was probably the biggest thing that, that stuck out to me. And then when he made the field goal, you know, everybody just running out to the field. I just remember Jeff Toole just sprinting out to the field, you know, he him so happy. I just remember his face. It still leaves a bad taste in all of our mouths, I, I can tell you that. Blowing the 18-point lead, having an opportunity to, to kick a, a field goal, a very makeable field goal for Travis Coons and, and to miss it and then go to overtime and turn the ball over. So it was almost really a, a comedy of errors there for the, the last, you know, the fourth quarter and then into overtime. This year's game is unique. For the first time in a long time, both these teams have a winning record, something that could lead to better things. I'm hoping in the in the near future, this game is deciding who's playing for the Pac-12 championship, you know, and and um, because I, th I think that our fans, theirs and ours, deserve that. For the Cougs, there's a lot riding on this game. Win number seven, guaranteeing them a bowl game, an Apple Cup win, and the second in a row against the Huskies. Last year, we tried to set the standard that we're not going to lose to the Huskies anymore, and we're going to do everything we can to continue that this year. It's Apple Cup 2013. What'll happen this year? We'll find out tomorrow.